Hey everybody, Matt Brown here. We're going to do more from Nirvana's Bleach. This time this is Floyd the Barber. Alright, so if you want my transcription, as always, just email me. My email address is at the top of my YouTube page. Alright, so for this one, we're tuned down a half step, every string down a half step. Uh, we're in the key of F, and what we're going to do for this main riff here is um, we're going to play an E5 power chord, two strings, and I find it easiest if you just play it with your middle finger here, uh, the B note with your middle finger. And then um, what we're going to do is a grace note hammer on to the notes of an F5 power chord, like, like so. So you could use your first and third finger. I find it easiest to play that F5 with uh, the first and fourth fingers. So it's the type thing uh, that you're going for. So we have two uh, quarter notes there. Um, at the beginning of the measure, and the grace note is like right on the middle of the beat. So to, uh, to give you a, a recap of what that sounds like, it's like this, a tempo. Like so, so slowly. So at the end of the measure, we're just palm muting on our, our E5 chord with three eighth notes, uh, three and four, and then a rest on E4. All right, so um, on the last time before the vocals come in, we have a little variation. So um, basically we have this. So what happens is, um, on beat two, he slides okay. out of the F5 power chord, up and out, just, you know, I would say maybe up around the A fret is where I've been going to. And then, um, on the last two beats of the measure, he just strums the uh, three highest open strings. So that gives you, you know, like an E minor chord sound there. So. Again. You know, it's just kind of like a, a sound effect, more or less, type of deal. Alright, so now when we're into the verse, we're, we're going to be playing the... Riff. Um, and then the last time before we transition um, to the chorus, we get this. Like that. So we do two eighth notes on the E5 chord, and then a slide up and out. Um, and that's that's it for the verse. So let's take a look at the chorus. The chorus goes like this. All right, so Let's talk chords. We're starting on a D flat five power chord, so that's the fourth fret here, and we're going to play a three string chord, and the rhythm is this. So that again. So we've got a muted strum in there. All right, then the next little chunk is. Um, sorry, I'll, pl I'll play it from the beginning. basically the same type of idea down a half step um, so instead of D flat to A we're now doing C5 to A flat so and then on the the last uh, eighth notes of that measure the last two eighth notes we're gonna do uh, kind of just a strum of that A flat 5 chord and like a mute that's gonna help us transition back to the beginning so to uh, play through it a few times. All right. So now the only uh, section that I have to, to show you in this song really is the, the guitar solo section. So let's take a look at that. So here's how the solo sounds. All right, 
so um, what we're gonna do here to, to break it down slowly, we're gonna play two F5 power chords, like that in quarter notes, and then we have this. So we're, we're gonna play an F5 chord, and then, so that's A, B flat, C. So all of this solo is out of the F major scale. Um, so it'll probably make this a little easier knowing that. All right, the next measure is that. So you have a little slight vibrato on the C, like so. Okay, here's the next measure. So F. All right, so pretty simple. Here's the next measure. So we're going to do a grace note hammer on into the C this time. And he does a little bit of vibrato on the B flat note this time. Um, and then the, the next bar is the same as one of the other bars we already covered. Now the next bar is another repeat of what we've done previously. So, so again. All right, now the next bar is this. So we're going to do a slide in there. And then we're going to do some more slides. We do this. So we have a slide from C to D. And then we slide from D to E flat. E flat to E. And then we're going to slide down and out from an F. Like that. So those last two bars. Again. So I'm going to do the whole solo slow now. And so at the end of the solo, we have the um, kind of like the part that serves as the intro and interlude before the verses. The... Part. And then we're back to the verse. Um, so, you know, there's, there's not really anything new that I, I need to talk about. The end of the song is just... And then the bass plays that with the drums, and then it's just the drums that do it. Um, so really that's all there is to it. It's a pretty short but sweet song, not a whole lot going on. Still though, very effective. So again, if you want the transcription, uh, just email, and uh, I'll see you guys around for some more on Nirvana's Bleach. <laughs>